Now, your Way 31 Storm Tracker forecast. So now we've had this extreme heat around for a little bit, so it's like we get used to it, and at the same time, there's no getting used to it. Absolutely, <laughs> it's still going to feel miserable, and that's pretty much how it would have been outside this afternoon if you were out there, and tomorrow, unfortunately, slightly warmer. So we are definitely, I hope you are getting used to it because we're not getting a break, at least not for this weekend. We're going to continue to see high temperatures. We're seeing them right now outside in Decatur. You can see a lot of sunshine out there. So it has been a beautiful day, but it's warm, 95 degrees right now. And thankfully, though, we are seeing the dew point in the 60s. It would feel a lot worse out there if we see that higher in the 70s, which it is going to be rising as we get towards the end of our weekend. But those feels like temperatures, they're still slightly above the actual temperature for much of the area. We're going to be feeling like we're in the upper 90s for some areas. The Shoals over there, 97. Scottsboro, 98. But others finally starting to cool off a little bit as we approach the sunset throughout the evening. Temperatures dropping into those 80s by 8 p.m but then sticking around until almost midnight when we finally get back into the 70s. So it's going to be a warm night outside with clear conditions. But if you need to plan your Sunday outfit already, you will definitely want to keep in mind the heat is coming back. So you'll want to have your shades to protect yourself from the sun. Also, you'll need some sunscreen, some short sleeves. Go ahead and bring out those sandals as well. Going to be very warm. We'll start off the morning even in the 70s, first thing in the day. So it's going to be warm in the morning, a lot warmer in the afternoon as well. This is the actual temperature, not the feels like. 97 is going to be the high across much of the area, but factor in that heat index could feel like we're in the hundreds tomorrow afternoon, and we'll be seeing a lot of sunshine along with that. So future radar, you see 10 a.m., clear conditions, a little bit of cloud cover in the afternoon, but still not seeing showers to cool you off briefly, so going to be very warm. And then finally start to see a little bit of rain around dinner time. So this is 5 p.m. You see spots here and there, but vast majority of us staying dry. Rainfall increases into the night, but still not entirely widespread. We're just seeing kind of some scattered pop-up showers and thunderstorms overnight. This is along with a weak cold front. I mean, very weak because it's not going to bring the temperatures down. Going into Monday, we're going to see dry conditions again, and it is going to be hot again. So you can't really tell that we had a cold front notice It'd be one degree cooler, still going to be in those upper 90s. The noticeable drop is not going to be until Wednesday, and that's because we will have a better chance for rain as we get there. So Wednesday, Thursday, that's when we'll see more widespread showers and thunderstorms. Before that, we will be mostly dry, maybe a few spot showers here and there. That'll help our temperatures stay very warm out there. So we're going to continue to see in those 90s for the next several days. Very low rain chances, but then once again, Wednesday, that's when the showers and thunderstorms happen. That's when we're going to drop back to around 89, 90 degrees. And that is what our temperatures typically are for late June. So we're going to be getting back to normal towards the end, the middle portion, the end of next week. But until then, it's going to be hot. And then if you look forward in the 10-day forecast, it's going to just creep back up and get really hot again.